Hey guys, and welcome back to another Hunger Games with Clay Carton. We're playing on a new map here. It's called Jungle, as far as I know. Or something about trees. But, anyways, we're gonna be back. We're playing on High Pixel on that. And yeah, the Clay Cart is going to do something different today. And he's going to be telling you, hey, firstly, where have I been? What have I been doing? Because that's what you're going to ask yourself. What has the clay cart been up to? Well, the clay cart has been watching season 1 to 3 of Game of Thrones. That's what he's been doing. So that's why you haven't seen him upload any videos. And then something else is he's doing some soul searching. Yes. Clay Cart is doing some soul searching. So that's why this video is going to be slightly different. We are going to be talking about some serious stuff. And what is the serious stuff we're going to be talking about? Hmm. <laughs> well, we're going to be start talking about what is love? What is love? Love isn't just a word. It's not something that one just merely says to someone and says, Oh, I love you. Well, uh, when that generally means something else. Because generally what that means is I lost your body and I want you. And I've got ulterior motives. But that's not exactly our motivation of love. So the clay card's going to kind of like explain what is his point of view of love Clay Cart's point of view of love is then love has to be universal what do I mean by universal it means it cannot be confined to just one person you cannot just love one person because if you just love one person just like this chest you kind of like have a problem you end up having multiple people that you have feelings for and you interact differently with and uh, so you cannot love only one person you have to love everyone so love is universal secondly love has to transcend death why does love have to transcend death and what do i mean by love has to transcend death well transcending death in as far as that if you love someone and it transcends death the person will not have to mourn for you because they know that they were loved by you fully and wholly it means they won't miss you they don't require something of you that makes them feel whole or wanted and I um, just noticed that I'm kind of like mess the compass seems to be slightly messed up here but anyways let's get back to the topic here um, love has to transcend death so if love transcends death then love has to be f able to be felt beyond the grave it means if you die does the person you love know that you are still loving them even so you're not there in physical form that brings us further to love of where does love exist in physical form does it transcend physical form I mean can love only be existent if a person is next to you with you close by to you no, love has to transcend the physical form. So love is a transcending the physical form. Love, is so, as we define, transcends physical. It goes into the spiritual and is not uh, confined to one person. That is as far as we've gotten currently. And if you don't agree with me, well then leave a comment below but that is what the clay card believes he believes that love has to transcend all these factors because otherwise love cannot be love it has to be something else 
it would be an insufficiency it would be lust it would be an infatuation and that is exactly what we don't want love to be love has to be something more powerful something that doesn't make you feel like you're encaged you're required to do something so love does not have a vocation it doesn't require it to be fed because if love has to be fed like most people say is love languages etc etc then if there's a love language doesn't that mean that people are forcing themselves to be someone else to feed your love are you are you loving and appreciating the person as they are and that doesn't make sense does it it really doesn't make sense and yeah we're getting close to here to becoming into the death match here, so uh, maybe we should start commentating on this and continue this next match. Oh my word, we found this dude here, and well, he's got a little bit of armor, but I think we're gonna beat him. Ouch! And yep, he's dead. We got two hearts left, and we're gonna check, 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 check for stuff. Okay, but in the meantime, whilst I check for this chest plate, we're gonna continue talking about love where does love leave us when we are trying to speak to someone in their love language how can we speak to someone in their love languages if we aren't being ourselves are we being untrue to ourselves then are we merely pretending to be someone else to pretend to let someone pretend to love us it causes a lot of pretense doesn't it right so does that mean we can't talk to each other in our love languages or is the other person not loving us or are we not loving ourselves maybe that's it maybe love only exists when within ourselves if we can love ourselves if we can truly love ourselves it means we can appreciate ourselves beyond our current life quickly drink a speed potion and run off because this guy's gonna shoot me and he wants to snip me before death and death match and I ain't gonna let this happen but anyways let's go back to loving yourself it is very important to love yourself because if you don't then people can't love you because if you okay let's just drop the blaze here drop this and drink this quickly come on oh my word I'm on fire drink, 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 drink. okay let's see if we can win this we're on fire by the way and the blaze is doing his job let's go knock this guy out knock this guy out okay now who do we kill here Okay, I think we can get this guy. Come on, come on, come on. He's on fire, he's on fire. And we've won the hugger game. Yeah, guys, GG. Hope you have a great one. And thanks for watching. And we'll continue this conversation of serious natures by the clay cards in the next match. See you.